Hey y'all. So today I got some running around to do. Um this fucking ugly ass couch right there, I'm about to revamp the fuck out of that. So that's what I'm doing today. I need to go downtown to the garment district and the fashion district to see if I can find some good quality fabric for this couch. If I don't find any there, I will be going to Joanne's Fabrics and just going from there. Um I also need to try to find an outfit downtown today because I am going to the game tonight, which is I forgot who's playing, but I'm going to the game tonight. So, yeah, I need to find an outfit for that. It is Valentine's Day, and I don't have shit to wear. Like, that's really awkward. I mean, I got shit to wear, but I don't have anything that I necessarily want to wear tonight. So, yeah, I need to get an outfit, and then I need to redo this couch. So, let me actually give you all a backstory on this couch real quick. Okay, so this couch right here is not that old but it looks bad as fuck so if y'all can see like it stains and shit on the couch this happened during our move now this couch i think we paid like maybe fifteen hundred dollars for this couch right but it's literally stained so easily now granted um we do have insurance on the couch so they do come out and clean it whenever but it's like i really just don't even want this couch anymore um I'm thinking about doing like a totally different color. I really want to do like a darker shade of a gray maybe or um, something like that. I'm going to basically just look at the fabric and go from there. Like if I see something I love, then I'm going to get it. I'm not going for anything like bright, but I definitely don't need it to be as light as it is. So with that being said, I'm going to just be taking y'all with me today. We about to head downtown right now. I'm gonna try to find some fabric and an outfit in one fucking exchange. And yeah, that's it. Let's roll. Cap like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north, got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. We'll be in rapping Kilo. Yeah. Stub nose with potato. Yeah. Take, take out. No monkey in the jungle block. fuck out here let me just say that also i did not find shit down here at the fashion district like i couldn't find shit um i saw a lot of different fabrics but it was fabrics for like comforters curtains uh blankets rugs not for me to revamp my couch with so i said you know what i'm just about to I'm just about to go to um, Joanne's Fabrics. I'm going to follow my original mind and go to Joanne's Fabrics. I couldn't even find no clothes down there. Like, usually, I could find a little, like, one or two pieces down there. But everything today was very much so giving cheap. And I'm not fucking with that. That's that's really a bummer. So, to Joanne's Fabrics we go because, bitch, I'm going to find my fabric. Birds in the truck, they ain't leaving at the nest. Yeah, my face set like milk. Yo, running with the pack, got slip. Hands in the cookie jar, cut his finger off. Nigga being greedy, we gon' cut his tummy out. On the bricks on the road, took a couple routes. Flush mama house, her man's a Philly couch. Uh, I ain't really with the razzle dazzle. Knock him out, but then I throw him off the boat paddle. Go to the one, I put the kilo on the saddle. Sack him, hit a lick and cop a pterodactyl. Pap him, chop a bite down like an apple. Match him with the acres, with the horses in the cow. Like the narco, narco, got dope like Pablo. Okay, guys, so it's many, 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 many days later, and I decided that I 
Actually, let me give y'all the backstory because y'all just saw me go to Joanne's Fabrics. I went to Joanne's Fabrics. I got some fabric. I brought it back home. I didn't like it. So then days later, I went back to Joanne's Fabrics, got some more fabrics today. And I was like, man, fuck it. I'm not even going to record this shit anymore. But then I was like, no, nah. I already kind of told them I was going to record it. Let me just record it. So I am coming to y'all very real and natural right now. I got my fucking bonnet on under here. And I was like, bro, I don't give a fuck. I said I was going to do content. So I'm about to do it. So I ended up going back to Joanne's Fabrics, getting some lighter fabric, like I said. And now, keep my fingers crossed, I'm going to be able to revamp my couch. I really hope this couch turns out right or I'm going to be so bummed the fuck out and i'm just gonna have to get a new couch oh also let me tell y'all how much i spent on the fabric so i got this fabric here which is it's a gray but it's still a little light it's like a different shade of gray than the couch is already um because this is like a different material and let me come on this side this is a different material than this one and it's like a different color gray so I got this one, and then I also got this one, which can y'all see that? So this one and this one. I think I'm going to use this one for the base of the couch because I don't want to run out of fabric. And then I'm going to use this one for the actual like cushion and stuff like that. So I hope it turns out right, guys, or I'm literally going to be screwed. Um... And then I also have this fabric here. Now, I loved this fabric so much. I wanted to get enough of this fabric to put on the whole couch, and they did not have enough. So, that fucking sucks. But I decided I'm going to make some pillows with this. I need to say a prayer over this couch because, <laughs> whoa, that's going to be literally so awkward if it doesn't work. Um, okay, let's get started. I don't really have shit else to say. And if y'all see my body slip out, mind your business. Okay, y'all. So right now I'm just um, prepping my couch, really. I'm getting the throws off the couch, the pillows, the fabrics, the um, couch cushions. I'm getting rid of all of that shit. Um, I'm going to start with the base. So that's why I am removing everything. And then later on, I will do the cushions. I also went ahead and cleaned my couch off a little bit because, you know, you don't want to have no crowns and shit in your couch, bitch get that up that was my base i turned the couch over on this side so i can easily align the fabric i am not going to put any of the fabric that i bought on the bottom of the couch because it's not going to be showing and i don't want to waste any fabric i'm going to use these little um push pins here to secure the fabric where i want it before i start using any permanent adhesive because we got to be careful with this couch now okay fabric that i bought on the couch and i just started to you know secure it and see how i wanted it to be now where that black is right there i'm also not going to put any fabric right there because it's not going to be showing and there's also velcro there so that the couch cushions can stick to the couch i'm just gonna only do the base of the couch right now nothing else So once I had my fabric exactly where I wanted it, I used my staple gun and I just started securing it in place all throughout. I put hella staples because I wanted it to be very secure. Now this is a little tip. You do not want your staples to show. So as I was doing this, I was grabbing the cushions and putting it on the couch just to make sure that I wasn't stapling in places that would be noticeable because you want your cushions to hide the fact that there are any staples in there. So just make sure you are not stapling too close to the edge of the couch because then the cushions will not be able to camouflage that. So the same thing I just did for the front, I'm going to do for the back. I am going to go around to the other side and I'm going to put staples in the bottom of it where the couch legs are. And once I have it secured in place, I'm going to cut the remaining fabric. Once you do that, it's going to look like the video on the left where it's cut and it's stapled and that is the bottom of the couch where the couch legs are. 
Not gonna lie, doing the armrest of this couch was actually the most difficult part because this part is actually going to be showing since it won't be like up against the wall or underneath the couch or anything like that. So I really had to make sure that it was perfect. So for the side, I actually recommend starting at the bottom and securing the bottom of the fabric down to the bottom of the couch first before you secure it anywhere else. That way you can pull it tight and make sure that you can tuck it and pull it and that everything is covered the way that you want it to cover. So I started at the bottom like I just said and then I just basically started pulling it and tucking it and pinning it over and over until I found a way that was perfect for me. Um, there's many different ways that you can fold this fabric. I just was kind of winging it and yeah this is how i decided to fold mine and pin mine and i know the couch looks really crazy but for one all of those little like crumb things are from me actually cutting the fabric it's like small pieces of fabric and then i also know that the inside of the armrest looks ridiculous but that really doesn't matter because it's not going to show so as long as the side of the armrest is nice and sleek and the top and the front facing is good, then that is all we care about. The inside is irrelevant. So you're basically gonna repeat that whole entire process until the base of your couch is finished. So I'm about to do the sectional of my couch and then the other armrest and then I'm gonna tune back into y'all when I'm done with that. Let's take this overboard now. I want you to feel the heat. And we can ride the book and share that beat of love. I wanna ride. now the next day and this is halfway through i have not changed the um pillows yet i haven't done any of the pillows i only did the baseboard so the baseboard is the new fabric that i have put down and this is the old fabric which got fucked up in the mold so this is the new fabric i'm really excited i was a little skeptical um when I was doing this because I'm like I do not know if this is gonna turn out good but I think it's gonna be cute so most importantly I just wanted to show y'all that the staples that I put in the base are not showing and also that the inside of the armrest where it looks a mess at is now camouflaged because the cushions are there so I just wanted to show that to y'all so y'all could see what I mean as in it will not show once you place the couch cushions on there Y'all, we are almost at the finish line. Thank you, Jesus, because this was getting on my nerves by this point, okay? Um, for the adhesive on my um, couch cushions, I'm going to be using this Gorilla Glue, um, the Gorilla Glue Hot Sticks. And then as you can see on there, it says that it can bond wood, metal, glass, plaster, floral, fabric, leather, foam, and more. So I decided to use this because on the original tutorial I was watching, she used um, a staple gun for the whole thing, but the staples would not stick in my cushions because it wasn't a hard enough material. So I had to get rid of that and try something new. You also could sew it down, but I don't know how to sew. And then I also just felt like Gorilla Glue would really do the trick because we all know Gorilla Glue be gluing and this one is made for fabric. So we gonna test it out and see how it works. And right now I'm definitely still using those push pins because I want to make sure that my fabric is as tight and as sleek that it can be before I glue anything down. I don't want to glue anything down and then I realize that it's either not aligned or there's like an air bubble somewhere, anything like that. So make sure you use those push pins, guys. Here 
is the semi-finished result of the couch. As you can see, that part over there <laughs> does not have any cloth on it, and that's because I ran out, which I previously told y'all. But I'm about to put some pillows over that so you're not even gonna know. So I'm about to put the pillows on it and see what the fuck is it. And I am so fucking happy because I'm gonna be honest, I did not know what the fuck I was doing. But it's done. It's done. You win. <laughs> Yay. Thumbs up to me, bitch. So I actually got these pillows from Ross. This gray one on the end and the blue one is from Ross. And then so is that white one over there. Um, this little gray white mixture, I actually got that fabric from Joanne's Fabrics and I just put it right over another pillow I already had, so. This is the finished outcome of my couch, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I do wish that I would have had more fabric to put behind the pillows, but I searched high and low for more fabric and they did not have this color in any of the surrounding stores near me. So that's a downfall, but I feel like just don't move my pillows, bitch, and it's going to be fine. Um, I do think that this was a lot of hard work. I, there was times where I was like, girl, you just need to go and buy a new couch. But it's like, you know, it was a fun little task for me. And, you know, I can get some more time out of my couch than rather just get getting rid of it so if you like this video let me know i am going to be dropping a, another video very soon about me decorating my living room so stay tuned bitch. <laughs> love you guys bye <laughs>